More than 500 felines and their owners will converge on Fort Lauderdale this weekend for the biggest cat show of the year. Joining us now live with more on the 1992 International Cat Show is veterinarian Dr. David Goodman. Good morning, Dr. Goodman. How are you? How are you doing, Andrea? Well, who is that? Well, this is Margot, and I don't think she's too happy to be up at this time of day here. What type of cat is she? She's a Cornish Rex, um, unusual looking cat because she has really uh, very soft hair. It's kind of curly. She's a non-shedding cat. A lot of people buy them if they have allergies to cats. And uh, this is one of the kind of unusual breeds that you will see at the show tomorrow and Sunday. We well, understand that uh, cats are making... I don't want to say a comeback, but uh, kind of a surge in popularity as, as almost exotic pets these days. Well, yeah, actually, my practice myself is about 60% cats, where a few years ago, I think it would have been vice versa, 60% dogs. Cats are easier now, have a mobile society where you can go away for a day or two, maybe, uh, have a cat, and don't have to run home and take it out for a walk. Cats are very independent and easy to take care of. Well, I think independent would probably be the one word to describe <laughs> cats. <laughs> I've had cats all my life. What's the main thing medically besides feline leukemia that, that you really have to work out and worry about with them? Uh, feline leukemia is number one. I'd say also uh, bladder pro problems, uh, urinary tract problems. Uh, feline infectious peritonitis is another disease that uh, strikes cats. Getting back to the international cat show, my understanding is that it's going to be in France next year, is that right? Uh, they have had them in France, ex right, exactly, California, uh, Texas, New York City, a number of places. So what can people expect to find when they show up this weekend? Uh, they can see many different variety of cats. They also have lectures, which are very interesting for the layperson, concerning different diseases and grooming of cats and the care of cats. They have a lot of different booths there for food samples, uh, toys that you can buy for your cats. It's a very interesting show, uh, and also it's very educational for people that know a lot about cats as well as people that don't know that much about cats. You mentioned cat products. I'm just curious. I have two questions. One, I don't know if you have an answer for this, but how big an industry are cat products? I know last time I was at your office, you were showing me magazines, Cat Napolitan, and believe it or not, <laughs> uh, how big, how much money is involved in the cat industry, and, and what's the most expensive cat you can find at this cat show? Well, the most expensive cat might be... Oh, fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars. I know they have a cat called the Sphinx cat, which is a very unusual cat. Uh, toy products and cat industry. I'm not really sure. I know the pet industry, as far as pet food industry, is over six billion dollars a year. Uh, so I would imagine products and toys and things like that would well surpass that figure. Real quick, Dr. Goodman, we were out of time here, but where is the cat show this weekend in Fort Lauderdale? It's at the convention center on Se uh, Southeast Seventeenth Street, the Causeway. That nice new building, mm -hmm. and we hope you all come down and. Take a look at some of these nice, friendly felines. All right. Dr. David Goodman, thank you.